Hello, this is the Classic Blacksmith, and today we're going to forge a bill hook out of this piece of iron. It's got a few welds, old welds on it, but that won't matter. It's about two centimeters or an inch, just about by half a centimeter thick. Doesn't matter the length. This is the forge. It's uh, fairly big. It's got two pipes going under it with a uh, uh, hot into the pipe so the air comes out and you can see these three spots. It used to have a pipe here as well but we've blocked that off because we don't need it. Um, the air supply is a leaf blower that comes in here and it's charcoal powered. You can turn it on and off right here. And then we've got a chimney above that goes out. And then from there we got the woodworking bench and then the anvil. Okay, we don't have it all heated up, but first we're gonna spend some time cleaning it, cleaning the stock up. I've got a striker here helping me. Oh shit. We're just kind of thinning it out, trying to get some of the blemishes out as well. Okay, we're now going to forge the tip. After we're going to bend over. It's going to be a fairly small bill hook. Now we're going to forge the edge on it, or the bevels. Which you do by slightly slanting the piece, just slightly. Same with your hammer. And just come down on top of it. Doing it from both sides. Next, we're going to uh, hammer it about here with the cross pin, which will spread the material out here, which will do so this point will curve over, which is what we want. So we can reheat, and then we're going to do that. Now, we've bent it by a uh, Expanding it here, now we're going to have to re-add the bevel. It's just like this. Move it right down. Again, use my striker. Now, 
as you're doing this, because you, you know, when you hit the metal material, it expands, it's got, it needs to have somewhere to go. So it's going to lose that bend, which is why you want to continuously keep that up, whichever way possible. Now it doesn't really have like a pointy tip, but it does taper down into a point-like object. Now I'm going to use a striker and make it thinner and we'll be right back. Okay, um, we've changed our minds, we're not going to make a cone, we're just going to make a handle straight out of the material we have here. We just think it's quite a small bill hook so I don't think it needs a long handle. So I'm just going to forge your handle out of this. If you have any idea for future projects or uh, stuff that we should try, please comment in the description or contact us at our Gmail. Link in the description. Okay, now we're going to put an edge on it and then uh, we're going to quench it. Okay, I've now added an edge. Still need to heat up and quench it, temper it. It got a slight warp in the quench, well in the, when I was cooling it down after forging. So now we're going to fix that. And uh, I've only sanded this, the handle is nice and comfortable. Very basic shape. So let's uh, quench it. Okay, going in for the quench. Water quench. Dates the file fairly well. Did not really warp. Bill hook. Hand forged. Took about 45 minutes, half an hour. Let's go test it. This is basically a walnut this and uh quite nice. This revised what we made. We took a piece of uh, mild steel or made of carbon steel, rusty, and we made this quite nice bill hook. It's very basic and rudimentary, not the most comfortable handle, not the biggest, definitely not the sharpest, but it works. 20 minutes grinding and uh, half an hour of forging, you got yourself a nice bill hook. Thank you for watching.